uh, Peggy Childers, Peggy Ann Childers is the name I have to use, and I'm here to Howard Johnson's Belleville. And I came in uh, Wednesday, this would be uh, Wednesday night and Thursday night, it's still Thursday night, I don't know what time it is. Uh, I'm immune to chemicals, and I've put uh, my immune system, <laughs> I'm in bad shape. I can't even walk. You want to watch? You want me to watch me try to walk? Oh, uh, I've told you about my real name, and I usually have a letter for an endorsement where he said I knew who was responsible for a shooting, and uh, I wrote about programming and mind control years ago. Got the hell beat out of me, and then I found out that I'd been kidnapped in 83. I, that's when I found it out. I was brought to Moulton, Alabama in uh, 41. I was two years old. It's who I am. I wrote the book. A lot of doctors involved, Larry McDonald, et cetera, Congressman Doctor. And uh, quite frankly, I put, tried to put what they did to me. Now that um, I've put on here what's been done to me, Especially last year, as I ended up here in Roanoke, and uh, my immune system attacks itself when I'm around chemicals, especially source like I am now. I can go anywhere and be okay. Most places I have no problem. Supermarkets, buses, you name it. Uh, it's deliberately done where I, I live. I am tried to tell everybody that. Uh, the Virginia State Trooper retired, um, Carl Barton. They told me, he and his wife told me, this is how we run you, with chemicals. Well, I know that, but they know my word no good. And then they turn around, if you try to say or do anything and say you're crazy and threaten you with having you locked up. And believe me, they can. And if they can do it to me, they can do it to you. But I've been run from place to place and lost money. Um, and here, uh, I spent one night, and then last night, it was so bad yesterday, there's no way, this has got to be the worst that I've had. Uh, I'm paralyzed just about my legs. I've walked down this morning, uh, which would be, uh, Thursday morning now, um, it's a good ways down, and I had the cane, and it was okay, I come back and I'm paralyzed during the night, and I called, they did nothing. Um, because it's deliberate. It's who's involved in all this. I wanted to go back to, they had run me till I went back, I went to North Creek. And up there you've got uh, people that are living in this uh, home on wheels in a 16 uh, campsite, uh, not primitive quite, it's got good water, it's really pretty, but it's small and way back there. They're from Belleville, they said, which is local. But they told me, he told me he was CIA, and I don't doubt it, because I went there in March because I was run with the chemicals. And um, they uh, burned formaldehyde, and I don't know what else it was, but I was so sick I was dying. They did it like four days in a row. And, of course, they've got a sealed in uh mobile home, uh, home on wheels, this is a $200,000 job at least, so they don't have to smell it. They burn it right in front of the campground, there's hardly anybody there. But this has been done before, so I'm going to fast forward. I had money to get a motel then and recuperate a little bit before it started again. Now then, um, I ended up going back up there because same thing, they run me, and I can't run anymore. And you can't go to the law, they have to orchestrate it. So I went back up there, and I was there the first night, and uh, they did the same thing. I had to sleep with the roof off, and there was a few more people there that night. Um, so uh, the same thing, three nights in a row, and I was dying. It makes me urinate constantly, so it gets, depletes me of any fluids, and I can't sleep. My eyes fly open. I'm, I really, really just about die. So anyway, I left there, and I came back to Mountain Pass here in Travel, where I'm at now, close to it. 
because I, I haven't been back there since um, I think 08. I camped up in there a little bit near the old trail. And the people around there, uh, this is the forest, the Jefferson National Forest. Um, they are really cruel and rude. They've got some expensive homes. And uh, anyway, they didn't like it because I camped there. And they know the background on me, what's been done to me and what I've been telling and that it's true. But they don't care. So anyway, I went back this time from uh, North Creek and because um, they put the formaldehyde again. That's the second time this year. I hadn't been out there except in a long time to North Creek, except uh, last year when I went out there and spent two weeks, almost three, and it was fine. First time I've ever been out there. I felt better. No things were burned. No, this is the forest. You go out there to relax and breathe. And anyway, uh, I've been out twice this year now, and they've done the same thing. It's a different couple out there, but they're related to the one last year that was good. They both have really fancy homes. They're called hosts uh, out there in the middle of nowhere in a 16 campsite. But anyway, um, so I'm making sense, I hope. I came back to Mountain Pass Road. I could hardly walk then, and I pulled my stuff. You'd have to see me. Uh, pulling it from one place to the other and getting run. And the trail runs right next to farms there for a little bit. And they actually burn, it permeates the air. They burn formaldehyde and I don't know what else till I had drained, was drained of fluids. Not one person would help me. And um, whatever they come out there with the last couple of nights, they actually followed me on up in there. I managed to drag it up go back and pick up my stuff and drag it and um, they actually put the formaldehyde but something else on me and it made me when I got out of the tent to use the bathroom I fell and um, it's, it's horrible because it, it used to be a trash uh, before they put that bit of the trail in of mountain pass and there's broken glass snakes you name it there's uh, pottery that's broken. Anyway, um, I couldn't take that and finally somebody did come out there and uh, helped me and went back and got my tent. That's been my home because I've been running here and there and so sick I can't live. So now then I got some money again and I went back to Howard Johnson's on Third Lane which is where I run from there, the same people own all these, the Patels and Shaws. But it's not just them. It's uh, it's here around Roanoke, and I've tried to leave, and this goes way high because of who I am. So they can beat the hell out of me, and everybody goes along with it. They're afraid. They don't care about me. But anyway, I was run from there. It threatened. It got threatening phone calls. And uh, I came out back out here to uh, Delville, Howard Johnson, so people would, rather than trying to get it stopped, up, they didn't know what to do about it. Well, that's simple. You could help me uh, <laughs> stop and think about it. How many ways could people help me? The churches? Uh, it's weird. Uh, anyway, I came back out here. I paid $50 to get a cab to come out here. And I started to try to leave again. I didn't think I'd get on a bus. And you gotta have a place to go or you run out of money. And then what do I do? They've kind of, they've isolated me. And uh, I came out here and I spent last night and it was really bad. I thought, well, they, it's, they've done it to me again. It's bad here, I can't stay. And, um, I thought, please let me stay the week. I don't want to run out of money before I get some more, you know, and stranded. Well, uh, this is the worst I've had. My, uh, I've got nerve damage from my hands from so much of the spraying. And in other words, I pay to get poison, to have a place to live. And here they make you sign a thing, or they do me, that if um, the last well, I was here back in February, and they did it, and I had to leave before it was up. I mean, sick, sick. 
till you ask why I come back because they've got me covered. 